Oh, hello. My name is Professor Academia Research Smarts, Dr. Professor Academia Research Smarts, and I'm here today to talk to you about the science of shuttling bicycles. But first, we must truly understand what bicycle shuttling really is. Welcome to Shuttling 101. Shuttling is the art of transporting bicycles uphill so that gravity may pull them back down again. In its simplest form, shuttling may be achieved by utilizing the following items. A bicycle, a lorry, or as you Americans say, a truck, and a good friend to drive you. Perhaps your friend is recovering from an epic crash and cannot bicycle that day, or perhaps he was viciously attacked by an angry ginger. Whatever the case may be, this simplistic shuttle model requires that one person drives the truck both up and down each time for the bicyclist. But what happens when your friend hasn't been attacked by a ginger and does want to bicycle? Or what happens when you're out with multiple friends with multiple bikes and multiple lorries? The last thing you want to have to do is spend time planning out rides for people when you should be not shredding. So what is the best way to shuttle bicycles most efficiently? Well, to answer this long-standing question, we must travel first to Calgary's most prestigious academic institution. The University of Calgary paid money to teach you things. And so I found myself here at the Information and Communication Technology Building at the University of Calgary, where I was to seek out an expert in the ancient and mystical art of mathematics. I fit in Professor. immediately, of course, and it was good Professor. to be back in the midst of academia Professor. once more. Professor. The old familiar books, the scattered, hectic desks reflective of a mind stretched by scientific curiosity. But this was no time for nostalgia. I was on a mission, and I had found the one man capable of cracking this conundrum. Hello, I'm here at the University of Calgary with Dr. Professor Robin Cockett. Uh, Professor Cockett. Oh, so you're not a real doctor? I am a doctor, yes. Oh, okay, but a doctor of maths is what I am. Before maths. we get going on this, I am interested to know, what does PhD actually stand for? Well, it's Doctor of Philosophy. Wouldn't that be DP? <laughs> DP, but it's Latin, so it's Philosophy Doctor. Ah, interesting. Oh, no, what is your PhD? Oh, this. Right. This stands for something different. Oh, what, what difference does it Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> when you start off with... Um, I could tell that Professor Cockett was anxious to get to work, and what a fascinating process it was. All the numbers and symbols of our trade spewed forth onto the whiteboard as he went about trying to solve the problem of shuttling bicycles. Interesting, interesting, but shouldn't people be P? But it was more complicated than well, it seemed at first, and soon he had to call in his math slaves to help do some so of the then, work. Yeah, you didn't take into account number of friends you could have today. Well, right, but there might, I mean, there are other complications as well. Some people might go down faster than other people, so he, and then they arrive at different times. But your formula, M over C times C, is just M. Back and forth they went, deciding which algorithm fit where and which formula would be best suited to solve this incredible difficulty. If you have one car, you need to do three runs to get everyone to And then you really confusing. Right, so you've got three cars. Okay, and... It was truly captivating to see such fine minds at work in such an academic and collaborative atmosphere. And soon enough, we had our first working product. So we've arrived at a formula. And let's put it to the test. So, I have six friends with four trucks, each of whom has a bicycle and each of whom wants to ride. What can we do? Well, this is so uh, we're going to use the formula to work this out. So we're going to work out the capacity. So, 
uh, what is the capacity? Well, it's, uh, I've got to take the ceiling of, M is the number of people, six people. The capacity is uh, uh, five uh, minus one over, oops, we're not looking, over six, okay, because that's the six people. And uh, so this is, uh, well, it's actually one. Oh no. So we're going to get zero because this is one over six. So you're not going to be able to do anything. I think my formula was wrong. <laughs> and just like that, we were back to the books. But as Winston Churchill once pontificated, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Couldn't they just walk up the hill and leave their car there? They could. They could. I haven't thought about that. Uh, you've got a few bikers actually bothered about walking up hills. They could actually bike up the hill, couldn't they? And then bike down. No, 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 that's, that's not, not it. No, 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 stick to it. Downhill mountain biking is the only mountain biking. And with just a few tweaks, a little bit of help from the British stiff upper lip, and a complete reformatting of the formula, we were able to successfully arrive at what will forever be known as the Crockett Truck Shuttle Formula. Anyway, we, we, no, 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 that's all right. You're the mathematician, you're the, you're the doctor. So after a lot of work, Dr. Crockett and myself have come up with the Truck Shuttle Formula. And we have here um, some sort of incomplete bracket, and then N slap. You know what? Let's try something fun. You explain it to me as if I have no idea what this is. Okay, so the floor, so, so when you divide one number by another, you get a fraction. But we want an integer ring. And here's a ceiling. That means you actually go up from the fraction you get here. And here you take the minimum, and then you do the divisions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the floor of n divided by the minimum of n, and the ceiling of m divided by c. Simple. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. This is four. Okay. So we have the formula. Let's put it to the test. You're the For whatever time. reason, <laughs> n equals cars, m equals people, and c equals capacity. Correct. So I have six people, including myself, four cars, four trucks, with each truck having a capacity of five. Show us your magic. <laughs> show, show us your magic. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to calculate this up. At n equals four, and uh, you divide by the minimum of four and uh, m divided by c. M is six divided by five, except I've got to take the ceiling of that. So that is actually, this is four over the minimum of four and two. Minimum of four and two, of course, is two. And we're taking the, uh, the floor of that. But, but this is two. So this actually equals two. So you get two runs before you have to retrieve everything. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Professor Academia Research Smart's bicycle shuttle formula so you can gnaw shred more effectively. Please enjoy responsibly, and be sure to join us next time as we discuss scientific facts with me, your host, Dr. Professor Academia Research Smarts. Good night.
That's why, this is why N needs to be P. I hope the people. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, it is a group of cars. It should be C. And C needs to be cars instead of capacity. And M, I don't even know where you came up with M. This is nonsense. 